Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft, and today we're going to see one of my replays, Doggy Style, featuring the Black Bulldog. As we can see, the tier 8 German light tank, yeah, premium light tank with a 90mm gun. And as you can see, I almost commit suicide there, luckily I didn't, because this game is going to be very, very good. But, as you guys will have noticed, I haven't uh, put up any Black Bulldog video whatsoever on my channel. Why? Because, uh, actually, I did really suck at this tank when I first got it. I've played around 100 or so games uh, in it at the moment. And uh, I did eventually found my way, as you're going to see in this replay. But in the beginning, I really have to point out that I did really suck in this vehicle. But what is it, actually? As I said, this is just a normal M41 Walker Bulldog. But then, with a 90mm gun. And weirdly enough, it is a German tank. So... As you can hear on the, the crew voices. But what I really like about this tank is it's 90mm gun. You're going to see uh, what I mean by that. Especially what I like is the alpha damage. You'll just put some pretty significant amounts of damage every time you manage to penetrate the target. You do have to hit those targets though. As we can see we also get able, uh, yeah, enabled to spot that 704 and do a lot of spotting damage to him. That is very good of course. As we can see I've got my view range boosted up to the maximum. And that's really what you want, because, uh, yeah, as a light tank, it is really important to be able to spot targets, to get spotting damage, uh, to account for your experience in battle. And as we can see, uh, I actually choose to use optics in this tank instead of binoculars. Why? Because I found out that, uh, yeah, while I was finding out how to play this tank, really, I found out that this is more of a fighter light tank than it is really of a spotter, in my opinion. Uh, so that's how I play this tank actually. I do of course uh, occasionally try to spot my enemies. But whenever I have the chance I will just try and damage the enemy vehicles rather than spotting them. Why? Because I just really like this gun on this thing. You're going to see some alpha damage shots here on this IS. Look at that. Almost 300 damage per shot for a light tank. Okay it is a tier 8 light tank and this is a very good matchup. But still 300 damage or so per shot is pretty good. Really, that's what I really like about these 90mm guns. So as we can see, I am uh, defending Corellia at the moment. Together with Boombox and Crazy Driver. Big shout out to you, dude, because you haven't been playing for a very long time. And when we actually get to play, uh, I sometimes have good games and you have good games as well. So it was a pleasure, dude. But as we can see, we're just picking them apart here at the moment. I'm spotting my own targets and I'm just able to put those... Very nice alpha damage shots into those guys. So as I was saying... I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> oh, what a noob I am. Anyway, let's see. We are able to do just a lot of things from this position as you can see me using at the moment. And this rock here, this position... When you are defending on Corellia, it's just a very important position. Why? Because you'll just be able to spot a lot of the enemy tanks. Even some of the campers up on the hill. As you could see. For example, that IS. We managed to spot that guy and we managed to spot the ESU as well. So, now that the light tank has spotted me, of course I want to pull back. Because those campers that uh, I know are there at the moment will have shots at me. So, that's why I, of course, go back. And if actually you go back behind this rock... The campers will not be able to hit you. So I am totally safe here. Apart from artillery of course. But as there isn't any artillery on the enemy team. Uh, yeah that's just more of an advantage for me really. So almost a no look kill really. <laughs> on that super pushing. Really nice. And the boombox tries to go in for the kill on the Amex 12T. But he cocks it up massively. But oh well. Doesn't matter because I'm going to cock it up as well here. <laughs> there we go. But oh well. I decide let's just put a ram into that guy. But seeing that our team has won the entire northern flank here and uh, that we really have to break through to be able to kill those guys from the back. I decide to attack uh, and go on to the, uh, to the hill really. So I want to spot these guys uh, for my team to be able to take them down as we can see. So I managed to put an on the move shot into the IS. Uh, of course, this shot bounces because logics. And now that SU uh, is pretty much tired of life and he thinks, screw this, I'm just gonna go after him. But yeah, fails miserably at it as well. <laughs> Luckily for me, of course. We do manage to get a yeah, quite significant amount of spotting on those tanks, which is nice. Super Pershing hits me there, only does tracking damage, fortunately for me. 
So he turns, I uh, tried to put a shot in, but uh, it probably hit a spaced armor and didn't penetrate and do any damage. <laughs> but as you can see, we are doing quite nicely here. So pretty much this game is already won right now, and it's just a matter of cleaning up the enemy tanks. But seeing that we have got the camp hill as well, I'm just going to use this hill to my advantage to be able to put some nice shots into this very juicy T-34-100. He's got the hull of a tier 5 T-34 Russian tank. So yeah, well, my standard rounds will be more than enough to be able to contest his armor. And this is just a really nice snack for the Bulldog at the end here, really. As we can see, one shot into his side, one shot into his ass. Really sneaky shot there, could have easily missed. But of course, it didn't because RNG was on my side this game. And we managed to take down the nice little snack that is the T-34-100. Now we've got a T-43 here. I'm playing quite recklessly, but I don't really care if I uh, lose my hit points at the moment. I don't really know why I cocked up that shot there. I didn't fire, but I easily had the shot there. But it doesn't really matter anyways. We take down that guy. But as I said, the Bulldog is just a very nice tank to be able to clean up at the end of the game. And I'm just going to spoil this for you guys. I will not be able to get any more out of this game. And as we can see, the KV-5 dies before I even get there. And the Super Pershing does as well. And I end the game with a nice little slip like a boss. So we nailed the ace tanker in the black bulldog, really happy to pick that up. As I said, I really sucked in the beginning, so nailing the ace was quite an accomplishment. In addition to that, we can see that I only need approximately 4 more battles to be able to uh, finish my third skill for my female crew members that I have put into my black bulldog. Also, we were able to do 3.9k damage with 1510 base experience in this game, really nice. But as you saw in the replay, I did fire some heat rounds uh, in this game because I had to engage tanks like the 704 from long range. So I did need to pay a little bit more for those premium rounds. But still, we make a 75,000 credits profit. That's what I call doggy style. So everyone, I do hope you enjoyed the video. There's a lot of time and effort put into it as usual. If you appreciate that, then please consider leaving a like. Also consider subscribing if you haven't already. Have a very good weekend, and I'll see each and every one of you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.